In this video, we're going to look at how we can combine sets of data. So that means if you've got a one set of data which has a certain mean and a certain standard deviation, and you combine it with another set of data which has a different mean and a different standard deviation, how you can find the combined mean or the combined standard deviation for the whole group. Okay, so it says when working with two sets of data, it's possible to combine them to find the overall mean and standard deviation. Uh, in both formulas, the mean and standard deviation is calculated using sigma, the sum of. Therefore, the combined sum of values must be found. Manipulating mean and manipulating standard deviation formulas for each set of, of each set will help achieve this. So we'll look, just jump to this example. Just one example in this video. And this video says 16 girls in the class achieved a mean score of 74 and a standard deviation of 12. 10 boys in the class uh, achieved a mean score of 71 and a standard deviation of 8. Find the combined mean and standard deviation of the whole class. Okay, let's just look at the girls first of all. So for the girls, your mean is equal to 74, but more importantly, the mean is sigma x over m. So let's just put that in. That means 74 is equal to sigma x over m. And how many girls are in the class? There's 16 girls in the class. So that means your sigma x is going to be equal to that 16 times the 74. So your sigma x works out to be 1,184. Also, we're told for the girls, we have a standard deviation. So for the girls, the, stand, uh, the formula for the standard deviation, remember, is uh, sigma, uh, sorry, the square root of sigma x squared over n, and then minus your x bar squared. And this time I will just be putting in what the x bar is. So we're going to fill in what we know in this formula. So we're told in, this que in the question, the standard deviation is 12. So 12 is equal to the square root of sigma x squared over 16 minus our mean, which was 74, and that is squared. We have to reverse process all of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is square the 12. So 12 squared is equal to, so I squared both sides effectively, sigma x squared over 16 minus the 74 squared. And I bring that across, that's 12 squared plus the 74 squared is equal to sigma x squared over 16 and then what I'm going to do is just do my 16 times all of that so 12 squared plus 74 squared haven't actually worked any of this out I'm going to let the calculator do that for me and I'm going to get my sigma x squared is equal to and that was 89,000 so it's going to be a big number 89,920 okay so so far what we've got is we've got for the girls we've got their sigma x and for the boys we've got the sigma x for the girls we've got the sigma x squared we'll go through that same process again for the boys so for the boys we know our mean and instead of using x bar we're going to use y bar this time just the or sorry sigma instead of using sigma x we're going to use sigma y so it is uh, mean is equal to sigma y over m and it's going to be a new m as well and we knew for the boys it was 71 is equal to sigma y over, and there were 10 boys. So a wee bit of working out your y, sigma y is equal to 710. Also for the boys, we'll say uh, your standard deviation is equal to sigma y squared over n minus, we'll say y bar squared. And it's the square root of all that. And then we're going to fill in. And it says in this for the boys, the standard deviation is 8. So 8 is equal to sigma y squared over 10 minus our mean, which was 71 squared, and the square root of all that. Then square both sides, you'll get uh, 8 squared is equal to sigma y squared over 10 minus 71 squared. And then we'll just do a wee bit of manipulation again. 8 squared plus 71 squared is equal to sigma y squared over 10, so that means 10 times 8 squared plus 71 squared is equal to sigma y squared. And again, file that into your calculator and expect the big number here. Sigma y squared works out to be 51,050. So you've now got your sigma y, so the total of all your y, all your boys values, and then sigma y squared as well. We can now look at our combined uh, set then. So we'll just do combined. 
and we'll say our min is equal to, so it's going to be sigma x plus sigma y divided by your total, and I'm going to call it this time n1 plus n2, so it makes it a wee bit clearer to see that's your total of all your boys plus the total of all your girls, and your total number of boys, total number of girls, so your when you put all the values in, it's going to be 1,184 plus, and it was, sigma y was 710, and that's being divided by, you had 16 girls, remember, and you had 10 boys. Fire that into your calculator and see what you get, and I got 72.85, and that was the two decimal places. Okay, I've just gone ahead and written the formula. I'm going to have to be a bit of a squeeze to get this all written in here. And your formula for the combined uh, standard deviation is the square root of sigma x squared plus sigma x sigma y squared divided by n1 plus n2 minus your mean squared. And the mean will be this thing, so I'll be using this to a few more decimal places than I have actually written down here. So we can go ahead and fill, it, fill this in. So we go ahead and fill this in. And I say this will be a squeeze to get this written in. So our... Uh, sigma x squared was 89920 plus your sigma y squared was 51050 and you add your n1 and your n2 and you will get 26 and then minus your mean which is 72, 72 point, uh, 72 point, and I've said 8462 squared and then the square root of that whole thing. So it's a bit of a squeeze to get that all in. But you can see what we're doing. And then that's going to be, the answer is going to be 10.74 uh, to two decimal places. Okay, good thing to do is just to look, compare what you've got as your final answer. Final answers for your combined mean and standard deviation. And see, do they, they match up with what, uh, match up with what you've got uh, overall at the start. So, uh, what we had, uh, what we had then, first of all, for our boys, our girls' mean, sorry, the girls' mean was, uh, let's see where the girls' mean was. The girls' mean was uh, 74. The girls' mean was 74. And the boys' mean was 71. So girls' mean 74, boys' mean 71. And our combined was 72.85 so it looks fairly uh, fairly sensible the standard deviation of the girls was 12 standard deviation of the boys was 8 and our answer for standard deviation is 10.74 so it looks very sensible so that is us done for this video